Today I have five tips for maximizing your multicam edits in Final Cut Pro. Whether you're looking to improve your color grading workflows, or maybe you wanna fake the look of a multicam shoot when you just had one camera, or even a great tip for you podcasters out there, plus much, much more. Now, if you're looking for a full multicam tutorial, this is not that. I already made that video and it's very thorough. I will link to that down below. But for those of you who already know how to multicam edit in Final Cut, let's dive right into my first tip, which is how to fake the look of a multicam shoot when you just had one camera. So I've got this shot of myself here in our studio and we just shot it with one camera, but we can make it seem like a multicam clip. Let me show you how. I'm just going to right click and select new multicam clip. And let's just call this fake multi and hit okay. And now in my browser window, I now have this fake multi multicam clip. Let's double click on that to open it. And you'll see I have just one angle here, not to worry. What I'm going to do is click on this drop down menu and select add angle. And now I have a new empty angle in my multicam timeline. And I just need to hold down the option key, click and drag. And now I've got a second camera angle. Now here's the magic. Let me open up my angles. And I can grab one of these clips and in the video inspector, I can just scale and reposition it. Now I can open up a traditional timeline in Final Cut Pro, drop in that fake multi multicam, and then just click between the two angles and it looks like a multicam clip. This is so much faster than doing manual punching in on your main timeline. Next up, let's talk about when you're shooting a multicam over a green screen background. There's a very specific order of operations for this that is gonna make your life way easier. Let me show you. I've got one interview with two angles and I've dropped both clips in their entirety on my main timeline here. I've done my color corrections and at this point I'm going to apply the green screen here. Now, if you're looking for an in-depth tutorial about using the green screen here in Final Cut Pro, I will link to that video down below. So here are my two shots, like I said, in their entirety. And now what I'm going to do is drop in the background I wanna use behind our interview subject. And I'm just gonna do a little bit of polishing here by scaling and repositioning this virtual office backdrop I got off of Pixabay. And now in my effects browser, I'm just gonna add a little bit of a blur like so. And then what I wanna do is use the same background for my tight shot, but I'm gonna do something a little bit different here because I really want the angle of the room to match the angle of the camera. So I'm going to reach for this handy dandy effect from Alex 4D, which allows you to rotate on the X and Y axes in addition to the Z axis, which Final Cut Pro does not allow you to do natively. This is a free effect from Alex 4D. So I will link to this guy down below. And I'm just going to make the angle of the background better match the angle of the camera here. And because the shot is tighter, the background would be a little bit more blurred out. And I'm just gonna scale this up and reposition it. All right, let's say we were happy with this. Now what I'm gonna do is make compound clips out of each of these two clips. This is very important. So I'm going to select my wide shot and the background that goes with it. And I'm gonna hit option G and let's name this compound clip wide shot. And you'll see in my browser, I still have all of my original media, but now I also have this new compound clip that says wide shot. Let's do the same in the timeline with the tight shot, option G. And now what I wanna do is select that wide shot, head over to the info inspector and name this camera angle A and grab the close up. And in the info inspector, I'm gonna name this camera angle B. And now what I'm going to do is make a multicam out of these two compound clips. So I'm gonna select both of them, right click and select new multicam clip. I'm just gonna call this multi one. And now my angles are synchronized. My compound clips have now disappeared. That's a new feature of Final Cut Pro 11 to keep our browser nice and tidy. And I can double click this multicam clip to open the multicam timeline. Let's open up our angles. And you can see our compound clips are perfectly synced up. And by the way, if you're still learning Final Cut Pro, you may wanna enroll in my courses, Final Cut Rockstar and Rockstar Next Level. They're a ground up self-paced education in Final Cut Pro. And in the Next Level course, we do tackle multicam editing. I give you all the media to download with two different camera angles and we go through it all step-by-step. Step. You're really gonna love it. Now from our multicam timeline, let's go back to our main timeline. And what you would do from here is delete those compound clips you created. And now you can just edit like normal 
with your multicam clips. So now your multicam clip has all of your backgrounds built into each angle and you don't have to worry about trying to composite everything in your main timeline. Makes your life so much easier because the background is already composited in. Now, if you wanted to make an adjustment to one of these backgrounds, it's super easy to do that. All you have to do is head up to the view menu, browser, and enable show hidden clips. And now my compound clips are back. I can double click to open them. And let's say I wanted to just modify the background in some way. I could do that here at the compound clip level. And you'll see that that change is reflected in my main timeline. My next tip for multicam editing in Final Cut Pro is a new tool that was announced at the Final Cut Creative Summit from a developer called Automatic Duck. It is a multicam flattener and it allows you to preserve the awesome workflow of multicam editing in Final Cut Pro, but gives you more flexibility in certain situations. Here is a traditional multicam timeline. If you look closely at my timeline, you can see I've got multicam clips here. If I double click to open them, you'll see that they are traditional multicam clips. And then if I arrow back to my main timeline and select one of these multicam clips and head on over to the video inspector, you'll notice that stabilization, for instance, is not an option here. The multicam flattener is a workflow extension, which means that once you install it, you can find it under this puzzle piece. I'm going to select multicam flattener. And all I have to do is take this project and drag it into this window. It's going to process really quick and you'll see this film strip icon here at the bottom of the window. Now all you need to do is just drag and drop it back into your browser and you'll get a new project. This will not replace your original project. And now let's double click that new project to open it up and take a closer look at this timeline. The multicam clips are gone and they've been replaced with the source clips from each camera. So the camera switches remain. You'll notice in my angle viewer, I don't have any angles. I can just close that right up. And so what this allows you to do is preserve the awesome workflow of multicam editing in Final Cut Pro, but then bring back the original clips in your timeline. And you'll see that any effects you applied to your multicam clips, any transformations you made, or even any keyframes you applied to those multicam clips will be preserved. But instead of them being applied to those multicams, they'll be applied to the original media. So this can be super helpful if you're sending your timeline off to a colorist or you need to stabilize something. Remember, you cannot stabilize multicam clips. It's just the kind of thing that can be helpful in a lot of different situations for a lot of different reasons that you might come across while you edit. Next up, I have a tip for you when it comes to better color matching your camera angles with your multicam edits. I don't know about you, but I always have such a hard time trying to match my camera angles using the angle viewer window. I feel like the images are just too small and I really always want like a really big side by side view. So let me show you how you can get that side by side view while you're doing your multicam edits. So here is a situation where I like to utilize this tip I'm about to show you, which is when I have more than two angles that I'm trying to color correct and make all the cameras match. So what I personally like to do is just start with my main camera and color correct that one. So in this case, I'm actually going to just open the scopes and close the angles. So I'm just looking at the main shot here and I'm just going to do a quick color correction on this. And I'm not going to do anything fancy for this shot. I just want to make sure that all of my levels are in range and that my skin tones look right. Okay, so this is the shot I'm going to base everything else off of. Let me open up my angle viewer, which closes the scopes automatically. And now what I want to do is match these two other shots to this primary shot here. But the challenge I always feel like I have with trying to color correct off this angle viewer is that when I have a lot of angles, everything's very small. And I don't feel like I can get a good detailed look at just making side by side comparisons. So I'm going to open what's called the comparison viewer, the shortcut for which is control command six. Yep. First try. That's what that's a shortcut. I have a hard time remembering. If you don't think you can remember that shortcut, just head up to window show in workspace and find the comparison viewer here. So what the comparison viewer allows me to do in the multicam timeline is to select whatever frame I have in my viewer and hold it for me in this window. So no matter where else I navigate around in my timeline, I can always have this image pulled up. So to do that, I'm just going to hit this save frame button here. 
And now it's pulled up the exact same frame that you see in my viewer. If I move my playhead around the timeline, you can see this is actually just a still frame. At this point in my timeline, I'm just going to view a different angle. And then I'm actually going to close the angle viewer. And so now I have this great side by side view of these two shots and I can just focus on making these two match. And I'm really looking at the whites in the cabinet, the black values in this dress, and then just like the pops of color, like her fingernails look the same color, the skin tones look good. And now what I can do is enable the third angle and compare this angle to my primary shot as I'm making my color correction. And while I'm doing this color correction, you guys, if you feel like you're learning something, let me know. Give me that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. And then if I close the comparison viewer and open my angles, I can take a far away look at my three shots and assess how they all look together as a group. To me, this is the most sensible way to try to make your cameras match when you have too many angles to really get a good look at them all together in the angle viewer. And my last hack for you is one I think you podcasters are really gonna love. I'm gonna show you how to go from full screen shots to split screen shots all within a multicam clip. So let's take a look at my browser. I have three clips here. These are actually just stock shots, but let's pretend they're on a remote Zoom call doing a webinar or a podcast or something like that. So the first step to this is to take all of your full screen speakers and sync them up before you make your split screen. So we're gonna do that in like the traditional multicam way. And I want to make sure I disable this guy here, hide original clips, and I'm just gonna call this multi for sync. All right, let's double click to see our multicam clip. And now what I wanna do is think about the different configurations in which I would like to have these speakers. I'm not gonna worry about the full screen yet. I'm just going to worry about split screens. So let's say I wanted to have this woman and this gentleman on a split screen together. So I'm gonna select both clips and hit Command C to copy them. Now I'm gonna go back to a main timeline I've already created. And then what I'm going to do is hit Command V to paste my clips. And you can see they're offset at the same time that they were offset in my multicam clip. So in this way, I will know that these two clips are synced up. Now what I want to do is create my split screen configuration. I'm going to do that by using an effect called split pop, which I will link to down below. It just makes split screens really easy. And I'm also going to disable the build in and build out on this effect because I don't want that. I just want them to be split screens. Okay, so there's one configuration. So what I'm going to do now is select both of those clips and make a compound clip like we did before with the green screen tutorial. So I'm just going to hit option G to make that compound clip. Let's just call this Steve and Sarah. And there is my compound clip in the browser. Let me go back to my multicam and I'm gonna select all three of these clips and copy them by hitting command C, go back to my main timeline. I can delete out all this media, I don't need it paste those and again they're all still perfectly synced up and in this case i'm going to make a three-way split screen and i'm going to make sure to disable the build in and build out on all of these clips and split pop allows you to resize and reposition everybody like so and then one more time i'm going to make this a compound clip and so now what i can do is select all of my full screen clips and my split screens, right click and create a new multicam clip. So now I'm going to have a multicam clip with five separate angles, three of which are full screen and then two split screens. And then if I go back to my main timeline, I can clear out that last compound clip configuration we made. I can drop in my master multi and I can edit this just like any other multicam clip, split screens included. Which of these effects do you think you're gonna be reaching for the most? Let me know down in the comments which one you found the most helpful. In the meantime, I think you're gonna like this video here. YouTube though thinks you're gonna like this video here. Thanks for hanging out.